And it's time for Give Me Five and a real treat for you today. A 13-year-old girl at a Trump rally in Arizona uh, on Friday, I believe, gave a speech before Trump was introduced, and it was magnificent. I want you to watch some of it. I support Mr. Trump because I want a chance to be successful like my parents, and I believe he will help me achieve my dreams. I dream about going to BYU, being a well-known political news anchor, finding a cute boy so I can get married, <laughs> and having a wonderful big family. I imagine being happy, being safe, and being free. She knows she wants to marry a cute boy? Is it, is it acceptable anymore in this country for a 13-year-old girl to uh, have chosen a sexual identity and talk about it so, so proudly and happily? I don't know. You might want to rein her in. Anyway, here's a lot more. In social studies, my teacher, Miss Y, had us as teams rewrite the Declaration of Independence in our own words. This has been a great assignment for me to work with my friends and learn what the Declaration is all about. The Declaration was written because King George III was trying to take over the colonists' lives by abusing his power. Who does this sound like? <laughs> Like King George, there are tons of examples where Hillary Clinton has lied to us or attempted to rob us of our precious freedom. I love it. She talks about Ken. She says, who, who does this sound like? You know, she, she's got, she's, this, this girl looks like she's been doing this for 25 years. Okay, she will be a famous uh, political news anchor, and uh, you'll hear what she ultimately wants to be at the end of this uh, speech. Here's more. She lied to the parents of the men killed in Benghazi. She lied about her emails. She lied about her record to create jobs in New York, and she uses words like bigot and racist to attempt to take away our religious rights. <laughs> Hillary Clinton intends to further change the fabric of the country we love. I read a meme the other day, and it happened to read, quote, I bet if Donald Trump had a brick for every lie Hillary Clinton has told, he could build two walls. Is that like the best line ever? If Donald Trump had a brick for every lie Hillary told, he could build two walls. I love it. Here's more. Every person in our country is entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> My mom and dad say that actions speak louder than words. That is why I'm so amazed that anyone would think of voting for Hillary Clinton. As a 13-year-old, even I know Hillary Clinton is working for her own success in ways to control my life, my family's life, and your lives. I got three words. You. Go. Girl. She wants to make it Hillary's America, not the people's America. Mr. Trump has been a successful in business, he has a beautiful family, and I know he is working to make America great again. He is and will be a great leader. It is your job to vote. Vote now. And here she finishes up beautifully. We, the children of the United States, need you to make the smart choice. Vote for Mr. Trump. Do you want to know why Hillary Clinton will not be the first woman president of the United States? Because I will be the first woman president. Now raise your hand in the air. Make a fist. Vote for Trump. Vote for Trump. Vote for Trump. Thank you, Arizona. May God bless you, your family, and the United States of America. Vote for Trump. Oh, I was really getting into it. Sorry about that. She's magnificent. And so are you for watching The Steve Molesberg Show.